Dr. Behe, are there limits to natural science? If so, how do they impact our understanding of origins? There are limits to natural science. Natural science can only uh, investigate material processes and uh, matter and motion. And uh, to the extent that there are other things which really exist, which are not material processes, which are not matter and motion, then science cannot investigate those things. And again, to the extent that uh, non-physical uh, beings or non-physical processes were involved in uh, originating the universe and originating life or in any other uh, event affecting things in the universe, science will have a difficult time, that is, an impossible time, uh, uh, to investigate those. That does not mean, however, that science can't draw some conclusions. They can, uh, scientists can uh, see uh, the physical world as it is and can make some pretty good um, estimations of what would have had to go into uh, designing a physical world and uh, can conclude, I think, that there is no known process and that uh, the process that uh, was responsible for it is likely to have been something outside the universe. Uh, when one thinks of the Big Bang, uh, one can see that uh, perhaps something outside of the physical universe was required to, to initiate that. And you can extend this reasoning to origin of life chemistry and, and other things as well. How does the Big Bang relate to intelligent design? Well, most people forget that it was only about 70 years ago or so that most scientists thought that the uh, universe was eternal and unchanging. And then the motion of the galaxies away from the Earth and away from each, other's was, uh, each other was noticed, and that was the beginning of the Big Bang Theory. Now, many people have thought that the Big Bang has theological overtones. What caused this thing to occur? And many people have uh, thought that it was the creation. If something, if the Big Bang was the creation of nature, of time and space itself, then there must have been something outside of nature that was the cause of it. And so the Big Bang theory uh, has really kind of ties in a, a number of developments from uh, different areas of science tie in to the idea of intelligent design. This supports the idea that there is something beyond nature, beyond matter and motion. And if that thing is a mind that can act, then perhaps it set the universe in motion, and perhaps this mind, this uh, creator, could have done other things as well. And so when we look in nature and we see things suspiciously looking like they were designed, uh, things like uh, the anthropic coincidences, where the charge on the electron and the mass of the proton and the gravitational constant all seem to be extremely fine-tuned, and if they were a little bit different, life simply could not have developed in the universe. When we see things like that and when we see the irreducible complexity of biological systems and when we see the intractability of the problem of the origin of life, all of these things reinforce each other and point strongly to the conclusion that something beyond nature, something that planned nature, uh, was necessary for the development of the universe and life.